this is Rachel Butts with rachelbutts.com and today I'm going to show you how to add those really cool floating social media icons to your thesis WordPress site. I've been wanting to do this tutorial for a while but haven't because not until recently did the icons display in Internet Explorer. So now they do and now you'll be able to add them to your site and have them display in every browser. So watch the tutorial and I will see you soon. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to show you how to add these cool floating social icons. And like I said um, in my little video, that they used to not work in Internet Explorer, and now they do. So as you can see, I can scroll down, and they'll still stay at that position. I'm going to change. I'm going to show you how you can actually change the image to the image that you like, and also change the position. So maybe you want this to float a little lower than I have it on here. I'm on my friend Tracy's site, workwithtracyrinkin.com. She'll be happy that I'm doing it with her site on here. So I'm going to head, head on over to the dashboard. Now we're in Thesis 1.7, so the custom file editor is now under Thesis. Custom file editor. And the code I'm pasting into this blog post, so you'll be able to just copy and paste it from there. But in my custom functions folder, all you're going to do is da, 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 you're just going to add this string of text. Okay, and I'll give you that in the blog post. <coughs> the thing I'm going to show you right here is how you're able to change the um, place to where the icon goes. So Obviously, you don't want this to go to Tracy's Twitter <laughs> and Facebook. You want to put yours in there. So just for Twitter, you're going to change that ID to your ID. Okay. And for the title, you're going to change that to your title. And you're just going to copy and paste that again. Okay. So that's how you change where you want it to go and what the title is going to be. Now we're going to head on over to the custom CSS and this is where you can change the actual icon and where you want it to float. Okay, once you're in the custom CSS, move this up. You will see background URL, and then you'll have the path. So, I'm going to scoot this in. What you can do is you can just upload it into your media if you like. Put it wherever you want if you're comfortable using FTP, you can use that as well. But they're all labeled already, so Twitter, RSS, email. Another thing too, if you want to change one of these to not be email or LinkedIn or Skype, maybe you want to <coughs> put, and you just want to change one of these to maybe you want to put um, YouTube or you want to make uh, a different social media icon in there. Um, all you have to do is just change the location and the custom functions of where you want the link to go and then change the image that you put in there. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to move the social icons up and down. So right here you can see that they're up a little bit high. Let's say I want to move them down. I'm going to change this top part to let's say 30% and I'm going to save that. Saving, saving, saving. Da, 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 da. And I'm just going to refresh. And now you can see they are moved down a little bit. Okay, you can move them further down. You could even do like 100% and they would be down here. Oh, well, you can't see my mouse. They would be further down on your site. Let's see, they would be like down here. Okay, so that's how you move them um, up and down. And like I said, you can change all these icons to be your own icon just by adding in your own path. 
and then change the links in the custom functions and you are good to go. So that's it for my thesis tutorial of how to add social media icons, really cool floating ones. Check out more tutorials coming soon at rachelbutts.com. Bye-bye.